M0 FXB. Let's show you how quick you can connect your icon to the RSBA1 software. I highly recommend if you buy this software that you get it with the RC28 remote encoder. Now watch, if I change the frequency, I'm going to show you here, just pan back, you'll see that I can change the frequency. The nice thing about the encoder, if you've got a nice long USB cable, you know, you just plug it into your PC and you can change the frequency, just relax back and drink your coffee and you've got full control of the radio. So let's just quickly show you how, how you know, how quick and how easy it is to connect to this to this software. Go to this link in the description and download the latest version just here and you've also got the USB driver there that you can download. On this page just scroll to the bottom and just click download click download and you've got that then we'll go to the USB just here in the middle so download the driver and it looks like there's some a newer date here now that's an older one so the top one is the newest one download that and you'll have all the software you need just run it in the normal way and we've already got it just double click and then it's only going to give you the update if, when you buy the kit uh, you'll get all the original software links and, and um, you get a an activation key so this is the the software up and running on my PC and of course you can control all of the functions just tune the VFO using my mouse if I want. Or I can, like I said, I can just, you can't see it, but I can turn my VFO. All the bands here on the left. It just works great, I can turn it off as well. So let's show you the sort of connection panel, which is here. Okay. Now I've configured this three times now. I can just quickly switch to my 705 or I can switch to my 7100 that's connected now and 7610. So if I disconnect, I'm going to go yes, turn that volume down. So we're not connected now. When you download the software, you get two windows. Double click the first one that looks like it. It's a square icon, it says remote, it's quite small. On the right hand side at the bottom here, you'll see the actual radio. So that's the bit that when you double click it, you see the radio interface. But to set it up, you click this other box here, and then you get this. And there is a wizard that talks you through it. So connect the USB cable to your device, to your, you know, the radio you intend to use. Then at the top here, just click setup wizard now keeping it very simple here we're just going to connect the usb cable straight to the radio so you just click here and then go next and look it finds the radio that's connected then we get and it even gives us a com there com 15 and we're going usb here and it's automatically found this click next board rate and address 88 it's found that next and then gives the radio a name, next, and finish. And so we've got another radio here, and it means I've configured the same radio twice. So let's just go to the new setup. Now, before we connect, we double click this window. I'll just show you, I'm just gonna close it and then click it down here at the bottom. Now we want it to be turned off, so it fires up, and then the on off button is here on the top left we're not going to hit that yet we're going to go connect set and then you just select those same items so you select the icon 7100 version 1.1 you've got your usb connection there because we're not coming in remotely from outside this house just here at home and then remote utility it, it's already found all these com 15 board ray it's set everything for me. I haven't changed a thing. I haven't changed the audio. I've just left it all by default. And then we hit connect. Okay, and it tells you the port number is 15. So hopefully, if we just turn it on now, yeah, it's turning on the radio as well. And there we are, and we're good to go. The as for the you know the the remote control, the VFO, the sort of remote VFO. So I'm turning right now. 
you just plug that into your PC and it finds it automatically. So it's really, really, really simple process. And you know, like I said, we've done it twice here. And I can just remove one if I want when it's disconnected. Or I can add more. There's a lot more to this. You can uh, turn your PC into a server. And that's for a separate video. And then you'll be able to walk away with the laptop. Just connect to the server, which will be very similar to this. And you could be in another room controlling the ICOM 7100. So uh, that's another thing you can do. And I highly recommend when you buy this software, you buy it with the with the remote control because there's not much difference in the price, so you may as well. That's the way I look at it. And it's a really good quality item. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.